46 for Tatum tonight. Um, just what do you think you guys could have done better defensively against him? Um, you know, contest harder, keep him out of the paint at the same time. Uh, you know, seven free throws is not terrible for a guy that, you know, like him has a ball a lot, plays with it a lot. So we just got to keep contesting. We got to, we got to guard screens better. Um, just got to do everything on him a little bit better. Uh, you know, credit to him. He had a heck of a night. Uh, another poor shooting night from the three-point line. What have you thought of the looks that you guys have gotten from deep? And is there a way that you guys think you can generate more? Um, you know, like always, you know, kind of the tired answer, you know, some good ones and some some ones that are tough and contested. And you know, that's the sport. Um, and, and it would be good to generate some more. Um, you know, so we got to look at that. We got to find if we can do that. Um, and, you know, so – and. Uh, just be our best in the game seven. It's exciting, actually. Uh, I know this number doesn't always mean everything, but Grayson Allen's a minus 29 tonight in 22 minutes. Um, just what have you seen that the team has struggled when he's been in the game here in the last two games, I believe it is? Um, you know, I mean, I, I don't, you know, like you said, the plus minus is a tough stat and sometimes it's, uh, you know, good, but, you know, Grayson's doing his best. Um, that group... You know, um, I don't think we started the third quarter. The start of the third quarter kind of stands out to me. And, you know, we'll look at the film, and um, I'm sure Grayson could be better. But I think as a group, it's it's really on all of us um, to be better coming out the third quarter. That stands out to me. Um, you know, and he, he had some good looks. You know, I, I just, you know, some nights they go, some nights they don't. And, um, you know, sometimes you get good looks and, and – I, I don't know, you know, when they got their transition points. And so, you know, it, it can flip. You make one or two of those, he feels a lot better, less transition defense, more half-court defense. But, um, you know, as a group, we got to be better. And that may be related to that. Uh, we saw Javon in the first two games. We haven't seen him kind of since. Just what have you maybe not liked about what you thought he could bring to the table or whatever it may be that we haven't seen Javon in the last four games? Um, you know, more, I think, you know, getting George healthy, um, you know, is a big part of it. Um, you know, playing George and, uh, Javon's been good. He's helped us and, you know, so we got to look at everything. Um, but, you know, I think the, the defense and everything, you know, I, I don't know, they end up 108, you know, I think George really helps us defensively. He's, he's, and, and Javon can too. They're different, um, and how they help us defensively. So, um, you know, we, we're going to need everybody to be ready, including Javon and, um, you know, just go to Milwaukee or go to Boston and be ready for a seven. Coach, you just mentioned that game seven is actually kind of exciting. I know a lot of fans and people around basketball feel the same way. Why is it so exciting? Well, you know, you, it's, it's, it's over, you know, it's the first team to four, you know, we want to be the team to four, um, you know, a playoff series, the back and forth. Um, I don't think anybody's won two games in a row in this series. It's just been, you know, one after the other. And now it's, it's got, you know, it's, it's the finality. Um, you you got to go and, um, you know, find a way to get that fourth win, win the series. Um, so, you know, I think everybody in sport looks for that that game. It's, uh, you know, that, that college field, that NCAA tournament field where, you know, um, if you lose, your season's done. You win, you keep going. So it's really, it's exciting, like I said. All right, thanks, guys.